What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Never to Go Eleven back with another PR to pick artist video. And today we got two days for you guys. That of course being the uh, Holly and Melanie date, um, and then in like a few days' time, if my squad can get to it, we'll have the uh, trial by fire file trial by fire finisher uh, this third day right here. We have the second one, but I don't want to do that until we get this last one right here. We need forty eight thousand points. We're at thirty two thousand right now. Um, so hopefully we can get there. If any of you guys wondering what squad I'm in, I know y'all always ask. I got kicked out of my last squad, so now I joined a random new squad. Uh, this was, what squad is this? Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Alpha one. That's the squad. So, uh, yeah, it seems like we're full, but, uh, yeah, there you go. Just in case you're wondering. All right, but anyways, now Hello? on to the Melanie day. Let's just get started. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the video. That's that's all I ask for y'all. That's Hello? it. Hello. Uh, but anyways, crystal clear. So it seems that Melanie is into some weird spiritual stuff. And she wants to introduce you to her beliefs. Uh-oh. Might be interesting. Who knows? You're stood in front of a stall which claims to be selling energy crystals. Melanie picks a purple one up and holds it to her chest. The old woman vendor reaches out. To hold Melanie's hand. Can you feel that? The crystal matches your aura. This will bring you great energy. I can feel it. I really can. You really feel something? I really do. I think you would benefit from rose quartz, sir. Can we try one? The woman rubs a rose quartz on your face. What am I supposed to feel? Pa, he is too resistant for these to work. He refuses to believe. I'll take mine, though. How much? 50. Say nothing. Gives the money. Here you go. Thanks. Melanie takes the rock. She then looks at you with a look of self-awareness. You probably think I'm an idiot for spending that much, don't you? It's your money. I can tell you're still skeptical. I know they don't work work. It's more of a mindfulness thing. If it makes you feel better, that's all that matters. It does. Wow, you're so open. Most guys just make fun of me. I would if you weren't hot, bro. That's mean. It's not my place to tell you how to spend your money or what to believe in. Thank you. I get that you're looking out for me, though. It's cute. You walk through the market and find a stall with homeopathic remedies for sale. The homeopathic man looks like a homeless guy crossed with a hippie. Melanie picks up a bottle and looks at it. Do you believe in this, too? I don't know. I've never tried it. The bottle she is holding is for sale at a price of $9.99. Fair enough. Melanie ignores the rest of the offerings at the homeopathy stall and moves on to the cafe. The food here looks good. Let me buy you a meal. Is it all infused with magic essences? Smile at her. Haha, <laughs> showed up or I'll never extract your magic essence again. You hear? Ah, I got it. Melanie orders some food for both of you. You sit at the table in the corner. She has bought you some kind of burrito. You eat part of it. It's disgusting. Is your food okay? No, is it supposed to taste like this? Melanie takes a bite. I hope not, because that's foul. Take it back. Yeah, I will. Take it back. You go to the burrito stall and change your food for something less disgusting. When you turn, you see a man with leaflets talking to Melanie. You sit down and listen. It's got a 99% positive feedback review. It sounds like something you could really use. It sounds kind of interesting. What's this? I'm just telling her about a seminar we have coming up on positive thinking. Would that be something you'd be interested in? I'm not sure. I need to think about it. It's a limited time offer and tickets are going fast. She has your leaflet. If she's interested, she can sign up online. Thank you. But thank you. You're welcome. Leaves. She's he was pushy. It does look interesting though, but 500 bucks is a lot of money. Sleep on it. Do your research. If it still looks good, then go. That would be the smart thing to do. I'll read about it online and make a decision then. Seriously, though, thanks for being so supportive. It means a lot. Melanie kisses you passionately and strokes your thigh. You can help me put my crystals in later if you like. Wait, what? Where do these crystals go? I'm impressed with you today, Kev. This was not an easy situation at all. Melanie is into that stuff, so why rain on her parade? It's not hurting anyone. When serious money was involved, you gave her some love and caring advice, not judgment. That's the sign of someone who truly cares, not someone who just wants to be right. Mel's impressed. Yeah, of course, man. She should be. Should be, of course. Can you imagine what a dude like me, you know what I'm saying? On to this Holly date. I had 100 gems, and I didn't know who to pick, so I just picked Holly, Hello. like, randomly. Um, I was thinking of doing Andrea, too, but 
I just ended up going with Holly. Hello? Bump in the night. When you and Holly start to hear noises in the dead of the night, will you be brave enough to investigate? Yes. It's the middle of the night and you're spooning Holly in her bedroom. Suddenly she wakes you up with a jolt. Did you say something? No. Oh, uh, I thought I heard someone. Must have been a dream. Yeah, probably. Night. Holly tries to go back to sleep. Then you both hear footsteps. Okay, that was definitely footsteps, right? Do you think it's coming from downstairs? It sounded like it was. Will you go check? Yeah, okay. The only item of clothing that you can see in the dark is Holly's fluffy pink night robe. You put it on and head down the stairs. You immediately hear another sound. The sound of someone breaking open a wooden box. You rush back up to tell Holly. What? What is it? There's definitely someone in the house. Oh my god, I'll call the police. What do they come upstairs? Have you got any weapons? I've got a gun in the spare bedroom and a baseball bat in the cupboard by the front door. Go for the bat. You sneak downstairs to the front door. It appears that the burglars are in the living room. You find that the baseball bat just in time as two masked men exit the living room and spot you. You wield the bat. Get out now. Looks like we've got ourselves a hero on our hands. Do you know how to use that? Drop the goods and leaves. Yeah. The two burglars look at each other in silence. Not happening, buddy. The two men rush at you and shove you out of the way. They leave Holly's house with only a few valuables in their duffel bag. Holly eventually comes down to see what's happening. I should have grabbed the clock, bro, and sprayed him with it. You know what I'm saying? Are you okay? Are you? Yeah, are you? I'm fine. They didn't hurt you, did they? No, I think they stole something, though. Honestly, I don't even have anything important. Except maybe. Oh, no. She runs into her dining room. You follow Holly and see her opening up a set of drawers. She starts sobbing. No, please, no. What is it? What did they take? My grandmother's jewelry has been in our family for two centuries. They even took the ring. The ring I was going to wear on my wedding day. I'll chase them. No, please, I feel safe with you here. It's just jewelry. Okay, I'm so sorry. Hug her. Holly hugs you back. Thank you. I won't feel safe staying at my place tonight. Could we go to yours? You suddenly wonder if there's any incriminating evidence at your house. Evidence of your other women. A pair of panties, another toothbrush, perhaps. Yeah, of course we can. Thank you. Yeah, you don't got to be worried about that, man. Well done. You don't always have to play the hero, Kev. Sometimes just being there for someone is enough. Holly appreciates your efforts tonight and feels safe when she stays at your place. And don't worry, there are no incriminating items in your bedroom or bathroom. The theft of Holly's grandmother's jewelry was tragic, but who knows? Perhaps good fortune will be on your side soon enough. Because I've got a feeling you may find a clue as to who stole this jewelry. Man, I should have grabbed the Glock. Why did I go for the baseball bat, man? I should have grabbed the Glock and be like, either y'all, either y'all, man, either y'all drop it or get done. You know what I'm saying, man? That's what I should have done. But anyways, man, that's the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you would have done. I really want to know, would you have grabbed the Glock or the baseball bat? Let me know, man, because I'm, I'm honestly interested. You know me, I'm from Louisiana. I was raised up in Texas, so guns ain't nothing to me. You know, I, I should have grabbed the gun. That's what I'm saying. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. But here in my house, we don't have one. We we do have a, a metal baseball bat, though. So, it's like, I don't know. Just let me know what y'all would have done in the comment section. But make sure to subscribe if you're new and like the video if you enjoyed. But with all that being said, man, that's all I have for today. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.